guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about all my brushes, well, my favorite brushes. So these are the brushes that I can't live without. Uh, throughout my life, obviously I have accumulated so many brushes, but these are the brush that I really, really gravitate towards. And also, obviously, I like to travel with them. These are my absolute ride or die, my favorite. I can't live without them when it comes to makeup. So yeah, I'll be talking about all this stuff. And also today I'll be doing something interesting, like you can see from my title already I am doing a giveaway so if you want to know what are the things that I will be giving away just watch this video until the end and also I will let you know what are the things that you have to do to enter the giveaway so let's get started okay so to start off I'm gonna talk about the brushes that um, in like a sequence way of makeup so if I'm going through the base first then I'm gonna use my foundation brush so I'm gonna go into that section so that it's easier for you to understand as well and as also it's easier for me to put everything in places I don't want it to be like all around the place you know like talking about eye brush at a time and then next time I'm talking about foundation brush and then contour brush and you know what I mean so yeah let's start with the base brush so Obviously, I can't live without this product. I've told you recently that I kind of have not stopped, but I have reduced the amount of use that I make out of it. But I really, really like this. I think everyone should have it in their kit. This is Beauty Blender. So I've got a few of these like in different color. I I seriously can't live without them. I really, really love this. This is the original one. So when it comes to Beauty Blender, it is a sponge, but there are so many sponges in the market, to be honest, but no matter what, I'll just end up using this one because this one has that perfect amount of sponge to be able to, you know, blend your skin, I mean, your foundation and everything so smoothly. You can use it for your foundation, your concealer. Uh, you can apply this for the powdery product and also you can use it for blush, whatever you like to use it. But also it depends on how you are going to apply it and how, you know, you are used to applying this product. But other thing I like to use is brush. So I've already talked about this brush in my recent video. So this is the Sean Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. So obviously this is a synthetic brush. It's cruelty free. That's why they say it. But okay, talking about brush, firstly, let me talk about the types of brush. There are either synthetic brush or natural brush. Now, natural brush are the hair of animals. Usually it's goat. They use natural brushes because it is more durable compared to synthetic brush. And also it picks up product very well. It blends the product smoothly in your face. So obviously it is expensive compared to the synthetic brush. But when it comes to synthetic brush also, it is man-made bristle. Made out of nylon or anything like that so when it comes to synthetic brush why I like it because it, it, it gravitates towards one another so what it does it it really helps to you know like blending product when it comes to precision work or something like that it's really easier to work with the synthetic brush so okay let's move on to the foundation brush uh, I was talking about this brush I really like how it feels on when I try to put on the product it just blends in the product so smoothly like effortlessly the finish is like flawless you you will really really love this brush if you're really looking for a like good foundation brush so what i like to do is the f top part i obviously like to use it all over my face and this lower part i like to use it for like concealer or any other corner of my face that i really want to go into now this is kind of expensive obviously but i want to give you like alternative product as well so this is quite reasonable compared to this one so this is morphe y6 pro flat buffer brush so it is a synthetic brush as well and you can see it has a very flat surface right up there which is really helpful to blend in your foundation it has a very smooth application and a very excellent coverage without any heaviness on your skin so i really really love this uh, it is quite affordable and also it does the job so i really love this brush when it comes to foundation and also you can use it for like a powder product as well now talking about powder let's move on to the powder brush now this is the brush from chanel it is a quite small brush because i got it for like a holiday collection so why i like this is because obviously this is a blush brush but i like to use it for powder because it has that perfect amount of shape that is right shape for my face so whenever i apply powder it is just that perfect shape to put on the powder on my face 
and you know like whenever I have any uh, excess product on my face I like to just dust it off using this so yeah I really like this but other than that I also like the MAC 182 brush which is like a kabuki brush uh, now this is quite expensive and I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of it but it does the job and also because it has this larger dome right there it is really easy to buff out any powder product that is in your face now when it comes to alternative you can use any brush that has a large dome and also if it's fluffy because it's easier for you to pick up the product and pack it on on your face so any large brushes you can use it for powder now when it comes to blush I have only one brush MAC 116 that looks like that so obviously this brush is synthetic fiber brush I like this because it picks up the product very well and also releases the product on your face like really with the ease. So this is my favorite blush brush. Now moving on to the highlighter brush. Now this is the new Joeva brush which is called 134 Luxie Powder Fusion Brush. Obviously this is a synthetic brush and I like this because it has that shape which is kind of like pointing towards upward and has the perfect amount of space right there to put on your highlighter and just glide it on your face you know and also because it is so smooth it doesn't like move your foundation or anything like that and another brush that I have here is from the Morphe which is M310 brush it is a fan brush as you can see and this one is a goat hair brush now uh, I like this because it kind of diffuses the product all over so if you want if you don't want that precision line right there sometimes it's good to have like a diffuse highlight you know and not just for that you can also use this to you know like swipe off any excess product that you have in your face for example if you have a powder under eye or also in the t-zone you can just swipe off this one so I really love this brush and also it's quite affordable so when it comes to contour obviously it's all about bringing out the features you know like shaping out the nose or you know sculpting your cheekbones bringing out your features so there are different brushes that I have uh, the first one and this is my favorite one and also I think it's quite easier for you to use it if you are a beginner when it comes to contouring now this is Nosh Ita Kabuki brush you can see that it has a very thin and also very precise shape right there so what it does is that it really helps to get you that easy applications and also very controlled application you can just go in there and start applying your product and it gives that precise line right there which really helps you to get that sculpted cheekbone and also helps you to get that control correct you know sometimes it might be really low it can be really high when it comes to other brushes but this one it just gives that line and also you can start blending with this so it's really really nice brush but this is Japanese Q control brush now this is brush that looks quite similar to the brush that Nosh has it I think it I think it is produced from the same company or something like that because the way they describe it is that it is made of like a Japanese ancient um, ideas or something like that so I have fried the Nosh brush as well and it feels exactly the same and you know what this is quite compared to the Nosh brush it is quite cheaper so I like this for my control brush it has a large dome so it's really easy to put on your face and then start you know blending in the product and also it's good for bronzing your face all over your face so I really like this brush and it's also quite cheap now moving on to the other alternatives that I have this one is from the MAC and it's a MAC 168 contour brush obviously this has that slanted shape right there perfect enough to go into your face and get that shape right there and I'll start blending your product so obviously that really helps when it comes to contouring your face that slanted shape so that's how you know it's a contour brush but I do have the alternative one which is from the Morphe which is called Y4 now as you can see that it has the same shape right there but it's quite larger compared to the MAC one but I really like 
this to go all over my face again with this one it's really easy and does the job so yeah I really like this one and if you're looking for like a reasonable alternative one then go with Morphe Y4 moving on to the eye brush now when it comes to eyebrows obviously there are lots of things that I need to talk about there are so many brushes uh, I've used but obviously confidently I can say Joeva is my favorite brushes so the first one is called Joeva 231 Luxie Petite crease brush now this is a medium sized round tapered shape brush and I really like this one because it really helps to get that precision work done so if you as you can see that um, we Asian we don't have a crease or very, we have a very very small crease so when it comes to such part this really helps so it really gives that precision work right there giving you the effect or illusion of crease on your eyes so i really love this brush now this is the other blending brush from joeva which is 221 luxie crease uh, brush now this is a blending brush as you can see that this one is quite bigger compared to this one this one i like to use it for like blending in the eyeshadow you know like when you have put all this product in you really want to keep on blending your eyeshadow so that they are blending in smoothly there is no harsh line or anything there this really really does the job so i really like to use this as a blending brush and the next favorite blending brush that i have is from mac uh, everybody knows it this is the mac one of the favorite brush from all the makeup artists so this is mac 217 brush and you can see they are quite similar but mac has a bit flat shape when it comes to oh my god focus there not on my face so this hat this is quite flat compared to this one um it it both does great jobs i really like both of them but to be honest i really like the joeva brush compared to the mac brush but again like you can use any of this brush and i think they are quite similar when it comes to prices as well so yeah these are the three blending brush that i really like when it comes to you know blending in the eyeshadow so moving on to the shader brush i really love this one from joeva again which is 230 luxie pencil brush so what it does is if you are putting on eyeliner or something like that and you really want to you know avoid that harsh line right there and start blending it it really helps to blend that color right there when it comes to lower lash line and you can use it in any other part uh, this is the one that i really really like but more than this one i like this brush which is small brush from the Chanel and also it is a shader brush now it has a very very small defined shape which is why it really helps to like really really give me that defined shape when it comes to blending the eyeshadow so I really like to use this in my lower lash line to you know buff those edges out with this one and also it does like a brilliant job so this is my favorite brush so the first one is from the mac which is 211 brush so you can see that this brush has a very pointy shape which really helps to get that precise line when it comes to eyeliner especially when you want to do cat eyeliner it really really helps to get that shape right there now this is the Rimmel London eyeliner gel eyeliner brush which obviously came with the gel eyeliner I really like this brush so I have this brush I am not gonna leave this brush anywhere because this is the brush that I use for my eyeliner always always if not any other brush this is the one as you can see that it's shape point on the top side so which really helps to get me that precise line and it's quite similar to the one that I just saw the MAC uh, 211 brush but I really love this one because it has more place for me to play around compared to the MAC one because it has a little bit of flat top right there which really helps to get me that line not just to get the wing but on the all over my eyelid as well the brow brush that i have and is my favorite one is from the anastasia Beverly hills and i think this is the 7b dual ended angle brush now there is two sides which is one with the spoolie side and one with the brush side so obviously you can use it for like a powder product or you can use it with like a emollient base product so yeah this is my favorite brush when it comes to eyebrow for me uh, how i know i like this brush is that i kind of stopped feeling it 
and I don't know it is something that I have built up you know using brushes for so many years now I know that once I start feeling the brushes I really know that I really am gonna like the brush and also it's a good quality so it's something that I can't like really explain how to you know like no good brushes or bad brushes it's just that um, it's, it's the experience that I have uh, using it it has made me you know like know what is the brush that I'm really really going to like or what is the good quality of the brush so all of these brushes that I've just told you is a guideline for you uh, you can start building up your kit looking through the brush that I've just talked to you about I really love this brush I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it as well so just give it a try you don't have to go and buy all the single brushes that I've talked about because obviously some of the brushes you may not need, need it but if you're a makeup artist you might need it and so I just wanted to come here and talk about all the brushes you know so that it might be quite helpful for you to know what the brushes are for and how you can use it if it's like a powder brush you don't have to always use it just for powder you can use it for like blush or anything like that and also when it comes to eyeshadow brush you can use it for highlighter anything you know like anything you can do anything it's just to make up you can play around and you know just know which brushes for what and how you can use it so yeah I hope that I have uh, put in everything when it comes to brush for you guys but if you have any question please feel free to ask me I'll, I'm always ready to help you uh, so yeah that's all about the brushes now moving on to the giveaway now obviously this video was all about the brushes I wanted to give away brushes to you guys so this is the brush that I really like I've talked about it so much this is the Joeva collection now this is the full set of brush and it comes with clutch as well so these are all the brushes that you're gonna get it's full set brush 15 brushes and also it comes with clutch the next thing is obviously beauty blender so yeah this is the original beauty blender it looks like that so i'm gonna give this away and also i'm gonna give this away this is from the beauty blender as well this is the liner designer now what it does is that um some of the people they might not be so confident enough with their cat eyeliner or any kind of eyeliner that you want to do so this has i think this is a mirror right there and this is the thing that really helps to get in that shape of cat eyeliner or any eyeliner that you want to do. So you have the brushes obviously so you can just put this thing back in there and then start carving out that eyeliner right there to get the perfect shape. So that you don't have to you know put on the hassle of the tape that we can do. So you can just use this one. So obviously that is helpful and not just that since you have brush and blender and everything you would need something to clean your brush so again this one is from the beauty blender now this is a soap for brushes so yeah it really helps to clean your brush and sponge but these are all the things i will be giving away so now you might want to know what are the things that you have to do to enter the giveaways there are three things so you have to be subscribed to my channel follow me on my instagram account and share this video on any of your social media any any as much as you can so that's only three things and i think it's quite easy to do so yeah i would like to say good luck to those who ever enter so yeah i would like to sign up for now and until next time stay beautiful and i love y'all mm. really flow then that i have this oh my god I think I'm hungry. What? What did I just say? You got to let it go.